Uh, RTC has a built-in module in your Pi Pico W and it's called real-time clock and this is exactly what it does. It gives you the ability to read out the date time like Monday 6 o'clock. This is what we're going to learn in the video. We go to three steps. Uh, first we learn how to program it in MicroPython. Uh, second one we're going to learn how to use a Wi-Fi module to make it a bit more handy. And the third one is how to run an uh, alarm or some code at a special time. So go for it. The first thing we need to do when we want to initialize our RTC is that we program it with the date time we have now. So we have to do this with a tuple with eight values, which are the year, the month, the day, the day of the week, the hour, the minute, the second and the millisecond. So this is the first one we learn. See us on software side. In the Tony we just write from machine import RTC and then we just initialize the RTC with the date time and this is just the year, the month, the day, the day of the week and then the hours, minutes and seconds. And after this microseconds is we don't care about. So then we just print it out and see that it's initialized and then we just wait some seconds to check that it's really running and then we see that we get an absolute timing we have now. Okay, probably you recognize that this is not really handy to use. If you want to program your Raspberry Pi Pico, it would be nice if it's just reading out from somewhere the time. And this we can do with the NTP protocol. So we just have to program our Wi-Fi module to read out the NTP server and then we get an exact date time and we don't have to care about the time during our programming. So this is a bit more complicated. I give you the code and GitHub and while you're searching for it in my description, just leave me a thumb up and we see us on software side. So the first thing you see when you open the file is that we are importing a lot of libraries. So one library is a bit special, it's my Wi-Fi. This is uh, my own where I just save my SSID and my password. And this one you have to set on your own to according to your Wi-Fi. The next thing is the time offset. I'm here in Europe, so I have to add another one hour to the London time we get. And if it's winter, if it's summertime, we have to add two hours. And next thing is the NTP horse address. And then there's a function which is called getTimeNTP where we try to connect to the NTP server with the start of some NTP special stuff and the address of the NTP server. And then we are trying to open a socket to the NTP server. And if this connection is running and everything is finished, we close the connection and then we have to export our data and give it back to the function which is calling us in the order we can use it. And then we opening the set time RTC, which is just a function like I explained before, where I have to set the date time to the microcontroller or to the Raspberry Pi Pico. And the next thing is the whole stuff about the Wi-Fi. If you don't know this before, I give you here a link to another video from me where I'm explaining how to connect to your own Wi-Fi and how to make it a stable connection. This is what I used here. So you can look it up in the other video. Next thing is that we just do it like in the example before, we set the RTC and just use it. And then we run everything and we see that it's just uh, now the time I get from the server. And I'm just rechecking the whole thing again that it's really running. So I'm just writing RTC date time and then I see it's changing and everything is running. Perfect. Okay, we are almost done. Most things we know now. We see how to read up the time from the wireless module. And now we want to set an alert to a special time because that's a practical thing at the RTC. And for this we have to write our own function. Due to any reason we cannot use the interrupt. I don't know why, if you know it, write it down in the comments, but I didn't figure out why it's not working for my code. And uh, this we're gonna do next. So see us on the software side. So in this file, I'm just showing you the difference to the one before. So it's more or less the same, only that I add some function for check alarm. And this is just the where I give a year, month, day, hour and minute where I want to run the alarm. So I'm just checking with the if state if everything is the same and if it's the same I'm just printing out alarm 
and if not I'm just saying the time is not reached and I'll give you the delta time to that what we have and then I have a while true loop where I just say the time where I want to run the alarm so this time I have to update this that it's really coming and we go for it and then we see okay there's just a slight time difference and so I will increase the time in the video that it's a bit faster and it's boring so now we just will reach the alarm here it's coming and um, now there's one point you have to think about this alarm is now coming in the minute every time when you check for the alarm so um, if you want just to raise this alarm once you have to ensure that it's not coming again so you have to change the alarm time or you have to disable the alarm perfect now you know everything about there to see what you need to know for your project if you want to tell me what is your project about and where you use the rtt just write it down in the comments and I hope to see you next time. Here are some other videos about MicroPython and Raspberry Pi Pico as well. So if you want to learn something more, go for it and see you next time.